Hiya guys, and welcome to Oct 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 October. Sorry, I glitched a little bit because I am Vanellope Von Schweetz from Wreck-It Ralph. But in all seriousness, I'm so excited to be here for October and to teach you guys all these fun crafts. Today, I'm going to show you how to do your own DIY chalk paint shoes to give you the perfect kicks. Hey everyone, it's Sam from the Anti Tay team, and you're watching The Sam Show. Let's go make some fun things. I am starting out with these canvas shoes that I got from Walmart, and if you know Vanellope has like black boots but I couldn't I couldn't go with just plain black shoes or you know high tops or anything I'm gonna put a fun spin on them using the anti tay chalked up paint I am using alcohol and a baby wipe to clean off some of the smudges that were already on the shoes and I took off the shoelaces to make it easier to work with. I'm using the Marvy erasable fabric marker. I, I love this, I use this so much, um, but it's really awesome for mapping out designs on shoes. I wanted to do an ice cream inspired shoe, so I am just freehanding some ice cream drips along the top of the shoe and you know the top of the tongue going all the way around i tried to be pretty similar on both shoes but they didn't need to be identical so the drips were Pretty similar on both shoes, but not perfect. Then I went in with the chalked up paint color Onyx, and I went in and started painting around where the drips were. I just didn't want to have to go over the drips multiple times because the Onyx is super black. It's a great black paint. And I have a baby wipe nearby and I would use it to clean up any of like the grommets and along the edge if I got paint on it. It's a lot easier to clean it up when it's wet versus when it's dry. I also found out that if I wet the shoe first, so if I just took a wet brush and applied water to the canvas the paint went on a lot easier kind of like if you're painting a picture and then for the tongue i went in with the color sea foam and i also did sea foam along the back panel and for the ice cream i did the color flamingo you can see the back panel there where i did the sea foam and flamingo i I mean, pink and teal are my favorite colors, so putting them together on a shoe was perfect. I was disappointed I couldn't find black high tops. I thought it would have been just easier to paint in the pink, but I think it was actually easier to start with white shoes and to color, be able to color them whatever I want. But Chalked up paint is pretty good, so even if you have a black colored shoe, it should only take a couple layers to color over the black. And when the Marvy washable fabric marker says that it's washable, yes. If you get water on it, it will disappear, so just keep that in mind. Um, try not to saturate it with water. But I just painted everything and that's what it looked after one coat. Um, then you're just gonna want to make sure you clean up all the edges and let it dry before you do a second coat. For the second coat, I was very meticulous. I used a very little brush and made sure there were no white spaces and everything was a bold, bright color. Chalked up paint makes it really easy to do that, but you just want to be meticulous too 
with all of those little spots. I mean, it was a huge difference putting the second coat on. It was super bright and it looked really, really good. And I let the second coat dry. For the laces, I wanted to dip dye them. I used Flamingo and mixed it in the water first before I added the laces. And then I let the laces sit in there overnight. I wasn't done with the shoes just yet. I had to add one more little detail. So I went in with Marvy Deco paint markers and added sprinkles. Marvy is the same company that had the washable fabric pen and they have a ton of different pens and markers. They are an anti tay partner. So what that means is if you are an anti tay member, you can use your membership code on the partner's websites for a discount. Sometimes that's 20%, sometimes that's 30%. Every partner is a little bit different, but you're gonna save money on these amazing markers. And I only had to go in once with each color. And I went with each color around just sporadically putting little dash marks all over for the sprinkles. And then I just did each color. The more sprinkles I added, the more I loved it. And it just made these shoes more over the top, which is what I wanted. I didn't want them to be plain. I really wanted them to be fun. And they turned out better than I could have ever imagined. I let the laces sit overnight in chalked up paint and then I let them hang dry. I'm just heat setting them, but they were a lot lighter than I wanted. I know when you dip dye using chalked up paint, you get a lot more light pastel colors. And originally I thought that's what I wanted, but then I realized that I didn't really like it. So then I thought maybe because Vanellope kind of has like candy cane and licorice vibes that I would do lines on them and it would be a light and dark color and then I decided I didn't like that either so I just went in and took a really wet brush and painted it a solid pink color and that's the great thing about paint is if you don't like it you can just paint over it so I painted it solid color and I let that dry and then I laced up the shoes and that was it that was all this took and I love these shoes. I'm obsessed with them. I hope you guys think they're super cool too. I know I'll wear them more than just when I wear my costume.